بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ ہوپ یو آل ول بی فائن بائی دی گریز آف آر مائی ٹی اللہ آفٹر ایگزام دس از آر نیکسٹ لیکچر بٹ ایکچولی دس از آر ایٹینتھ لیکچر اینڈ سبجیکٹ آف بیہیویئر فائنینس وی آر کورنگ دا ڈفرینٹ بائسیز وچ وی مسٹ ہے فیس میکنگ ڈیسیجن سو وٹ آر دیز بائسیز اینڈ وائی وی ول وائی وی فیس دیم اینڈ ہاؤ وی ول ریکور دیم وتھ پراپر ٹیکنگ ایڈجسٹمنٹ اور پراپر ارینجمنٹ سو ان دس لیکچر وی ول کور دا سیکنڈ بائس وچ از نون ایز اینکرنگ اینڈ ایڈجسٹمنٹ بائس دیٹ وٹ اٹ از اینڈ Uh, how it is uh, uh, yeah, created or uh, when it is occurred so what are the different uh, reasons actually uh, life uh, also presents us with many opportunities to solve problem uh, while taking uh, decisions so by understanding uh, the cognitive processes involved in decision making and uh, problem solving we can analyze our own actions and the actions of other so uh, this analysis uh, can improve the results of our problem solving and uh, decisions making both personally and professionally you know so uh, there are uh, different heuristics uh, we have already uh, taught about uh, the terminology heuristic that what are heuristics heuristics basically are mental shortcuts or you can say that these are the different uh, rule of thumb so uh, this is the way in which uh, uh, you can make decisions via a process so heuristic uh, provide us uh, or uh, it paves a way for making a right uh, decision so when we use heuristics we use it means that we are using our past experience to make quick decisions when we behave or apply the heuristic it means that uh, we are applying our past experiences to make a decisions very quickly very speedily and within a very short time so the advantage of the heuristic definitely is the speed and in a very short time but we have already taught that the downside or the negative point or you can say the other parallel side of the same kind is that they may result in an accurate decisions so uh, multiple uh, types of decisions making heuristics exist uh, and uh, one by one we will cover uh, all these heuristics so this lesson uh, will focus uh, on another type uh, of uh, bias which is known as anchoring and uh, uh, adjustment bias so in this lesson uh, you will learn to define the uh, anchoring what is anchoring and uh, how it uh, is um, uh, created or occurred and how you will face them uh, means that how you will adjust them so and then you will apply it to the real world examples so let's start out with a couple of uh, definitions so here uh, we will start uh, first of all that when anchoring uh, what is anchoring and how uh, what is anchoring in decision making because this is the main bias which we face while making a decision so you must know about uh, this bias that what it is Uh, why it uh, occurred and how we will manage it so um, when uh, you will start from uh, anchoring um, uh, its uh, meaning so first of all you will define that what is anchoring anchoring basically is the idea that we use pre-existing data as a reference point for all the subsequent data which can skew our decision making processes. Uh, 
Anchoring bias is an important concept in behavioral finance and uh, anchoring bias is also an important concept we uh, we have already uh, taught about that because uh, when people are trying to make a decisions they often use an anchor anchor means uh, you will uh, simply you can say that a focal point uh, or a reference point uh, or you can say a starting point and uh, psychologists uh, have found that people have a tendency to rely too heavily on a very first piece of information they learn means that uh, they have the preference about the starting piece of information which they have experienced in uh, with them so which can have a serious impact on the decisions they end up making so in psychology this type of basically this is the type of cognitive bias and uh, is known as anchoring bias we also an, uh, called it as anchoring bias and the effect which is created from uh, this bias uh, is known as anchoring effect and uh, when you will make a decisions then how it will affect the your uh, decision making so anchoring we also called it a focalism it means that you have a focus on uh, some previous uh, information or uh, some reference point uh, or some uh, starting point basically it's a cognitive bias and uh, an individual which is going to make a decision is depends too heavily on that anchor point or initial piece of information or that starting point when making a decisions so anchoring occur when during decision making or an individual depends on initial piece of information and uh, he will uh, depends too heavily uh, uh, on that first point which will uh, lead to the subsequent judgment which uh people actually uh, anchoring occur uh, definitely when uh, someone making a decisions and he has uh, going to depend too heavily on first piece of information people make estimates actually by starting from an initial value that is adjusted to the yield uh, the final answer basically uh, this uh, Uh, anchoring bias uh, or you can say this heuristic was first explained by Amos Tversky and Daniel Kahneman this was a uh, first psychologist which uh, he explored it in 1974 in his paper and this is also known as anchoring uh, theory and he say that the initial value or you can say the starting point or you can say the focal point may be adjusted by the formulation of the problem uh it may be uh, the result you can say the partial population so that is the different starting points yield different estimates because uh, if you are going to make a decision it does not means that uh, the focal point be right it may it may be implemented to the next point but not uh, in all cases it will be true so uh, he found basically these uh, have found that uh, those who spun a high number gave higher estimates by those who have low number gave lower estimates so participants uh, when making these uh, focal point uh, initial number as their anchor point to base their decisions so when um, um, talk about uh, the um, anchoring and adjustment in the field of uh, business and uh, business and finance okay in uh, in sales uh, price definitely and uh, wage negotiation anchoring and uh, adjustment can be powerful tool and we all know that studies have shown uh, that uh, setting an anchor at the outset of a negotiation Uh, can have a more effect on the final outcome uh, than the intervening negotiation process so uh, setting a deliberate starting point can affect the range of all subsequent counter offers um, in finance uh, the output of uh, our pricing models hain 
एंड सेल्स मैन का सेल्स मैन है ये इनके लिए जो है ये अक्सर ये इनको एंकरिंग बाई फेस करनी पड़ती है सो एट द एंड कैन कंक्लूड इट दैट हेरिस्टिक्स आर रूल्स ऑन थम ओके वी नो वेरी वेल दैट वी यूज दैम एज अ रूल ऑफ थम बिकॉज दे आर हेल्पफुल इन मेकिंग अ वेरी क्विक डिसीजन बट ओवरऑल ह्योरिस्टिक रिजल्ट इन गुड डिसीजन ऑन एवरेज एनी लॉस इन क्वालिटी ऑफ डिसीजन इज आउटवेटेड बाई द टाइम सेव एंड वी नो वेरी वेल दैट टाइम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस बट ह्योरिस्टिक्स कैन काज बाइस एंड सिस्टमेटिक एरर्स एंड डिसीजन मेकिंग वेन दे फेल एंड हेयर आई हैव ऑल्सो डॉट another bias which is known as anchoring and uh, adjustment bias and you student uh, um, as a finance student you must have the knowledge about uh, the anchoring and adjustment that that what it is uh, why it is created and how we will handle uh, this bias while making a decision so in addition we are typically unaware of heuristics and biases and uh, that's why we fail to distinguish between the situations in which their use is more or less appropriate and in this way we we will we make the inappropriate decision so while making a proper decision you must have the knowledge about all uh, the, the things for example if you are facing anchoring bias you must have the knowledge about the anchoring that what is anchoring how it is created and how you will uh, manage them Uh, so this uh, is the uh, lecture uh, on the anchoring and adjustment bias and i hope uh, you will have a uh, uh, good understanding about it and uh, here i will send you that material uh, with uh, these slides and reading material uh, dear student please keep uh, con- uh, reading with due consideration and uh, make an assignment uh, on this lecture which i have already uploaded in this site okay thank you so much take care of yourself allah hafiz